perfect sense. All right, so we're in video two and how to position yourself online so you can start to make a residual income, okay? Um, uh, last month I did, I, I'm close to hitting a six-figure business online. I did 11,000 last month online. I have uh, 13 different streams of income and now uh, 11 of them, 12, 12 are passive. So in my internet business, which coaching is a part of my income, but I have digital products, I have published books, I have uh, audio books that I've recorded just on an audio device and I sell them on amazon.com, audible, I sell them on my website, uh, but published paperback books you can order anywhere in the, in, in the world. I have online courses and programs that people are buying on autopilot right now as we speak. I have subscription-based programs from $7 a month to $37 a month that are being charging people's credit cards around the world right now as, as we speak. I have email autoresponder sequences pumping out emails that I've pre-written for 94 days that go out to people. Uh, I have a new program that just came out. It's $297 with a $97 upsell offer that when people buy this uh, in the shopping cart, when they're excited, this is all psychology here. When somebody decides to buy, you can actually throw in a bunch of add-ons um, that, that serve them at a high level if they want, right? And you disclose all this because there's a bunch of legal stuff you have to, you know, it's not a big deal, but you gotta be on the up and up. Um, that, that that's it's all working so you gotta really put in the work and build the pipeline and start selling immediately and then grow it by doing the work first but then building something that you do the work once and you get paid over and over and over and over again and and the way if you want to sell online because facts tell stories sell is by uh, telling stories and getting people to buy in by sharing with them who they're going to become. Now there's structures to this. If you want to sell to people online, well, well you have to build an audience. And there's different ways you can do that, okay? Now you gotta get into media. You have to learn how to get on video, period. <coughs> the highest is, um, in the next video, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about the, uh, the content syndicate, syndication strategy uh, coined by Brennan Bouchard, what we call circular virality, or the content marketing multiplier, which is by Pang Jun. These guys have multi 10 plus million dollar a year. Uh, I'm sorry. One is eight million in, um, in, in sales. I, I don't wanna get the numbers wrong, but they've done tens of millions of dollars online. The people that I learn from and pay and who coach me, right? Um, we'll get into that in the next video of how you can syndicate all this content and build this this whole circular virality thing that allows your content to, to, to be repurposed infinitum online. So it's basically like you, 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 you do the work once and get paid over and over and over again. You make one piece of content and then it just blows up all over the internet and in all these different facets like Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, uh, Facebook. YouTube, your podcast, right? But before we get into that, I want to talk about and tell you a story called There's Gold in the Hills. This is a story told by Russell Brunson and his 25K group. Uh, the people pay $25,000 a year to be part of this high-level mastermind group, and luckily I have a couple friends that are in that group, and they share with me what they learn, because I'm not spending 25 grand yet to be in that group. But, okay, when you're communicating with people and you want them to buy, well, first, you share high-level um, passionate information based off topics and you put out content okay so you might uh, have a podcast the highest level I believe that you can do this if you're an expert is you have a podcast that's also on video like I'd be like this it'd be a podcast but I might have a microphone in front of me and you start your video podcast you put the video on YouTube and on Facebook and everywhere you can put a video and then you take the audio from it and that gets uploaded to the podcast so people can listen in as well. A lot of your favorite podcasts, you can go on YouTube and say, oh, I didn't know. There's the video. This is like Joe Rogan podcast. Are you yeah, aware of this? I'm aware of that. You can watch Joe Rogan or you can listen to them. Uh, audio is growing tremendously because people are so busy. They don't have time to sit and watch, but they love to listen. They can listen to work at work. They can listen on their Bluetooth while they're working. Exercise while they're exercising. So having a podcast is an absolute must. I really believe that you should find the modality 
of the way you find your social media platform that you like the best and dominate on it. There's some people that just dominate on Instagram and that's their thing and they just dabble a little bit in YouTube or a little bit here and there. Like, um, Facebook is your thing and you don't even have a YouTube channel like you do, but there's just a couple things and they're like, find the thing that works for you. For mine, mine is YouTube. I'm a YouTuber, I have six YouTube channels, I have 25 million views online, I get a million views a month, I am a video creator. But I also have a podcast and I'm on every other social media platform. So, but when you create this content, you create a list of topics. Now you can go impulsively just off like you can be, oh my God, I want to make a podcast about this topic. What's a topic for you? Medical marijuana. Medical marijuana, right? A great topic. It's huge. It's exploding. It's huge. a trend. The trend is your friend. You can literally just, to prime the pump and get it going, you literally could just start, um, hey, this is my very first podcast. You can hold up your phone. You can do it with your phone. I believe that. I, I got my YouTube channel to 30,000 subscribers with a cell phone, getting 400,000 views a month. You don't need a fancy camera or anything like this. Excuse me. Nice. Um, you can take the audio recorder in your phone. You can download podcast apps and you can just start, hey, uh, this is my first podcast and I want to talk about medical marijuana. Um, and you just start talking about it. <laughs> now, as you go, then you start to develop and implement structure and frameworks, hanging your content on a framework. Hey, what's up? This is Keith with the so-and-so podcast where we teach you how to um, um, learn more and use medical marijuana in a professional way that gets you these results in your life so you don't have to have anxiety anymore. In today's episode, we're going to talk about the specific first, uh, strain called... Strain? What's this? Gorilla glue. Gorilla glue. Number four. Number four, you know what's funny is I actually have a friend who's who's in the business and he showed me it before and there was big crystals coming off of it and I was like, whoa, yes. I don't even, I, you, I probably wouldn't want to drive home, right? So, but, so, and you would, you would dial in specifically on that and talk about Gorilla Glue number four and have fun and be yourself. You're already passionate about the topic and then you close it by telling you to tell people to subscribe or else they can find you. And then after you've done that for a while and at the end of your podcast, you can say, hey, if you want to learn more, then you got to check out my book. You got to check out my audio program, right? Or if you want to get the whole PDF download that tells you all about Gorilla Glue, glue or the top three strains that I've researched because I'm, I'm the expert, that relieve anxiety, then you got to get the free PDF download by going to www.mypodcast.com forward slash Gorilla Glue, glue number four, GG4. GG4. Yeah. And then I'll put the link in the show notes. So you can do all this digitally with Kajabi, is the program I use. And then they will go and they will put in their name and email. It's called an ethical bribe. You always want to collect emails all the time. Now you're getting them into your funnel. So you're putting out free information that's fun and entertaining, it's highly informative, and you're get, they're getting to know you and like you. And after they listen to a couple podcasts, if you, what you talk about sounds compelling and you they vibe with you, then they're naturally going to want to, you have a call to action, they're going to want to go to your website and get that free PDF download so they can learn more about this in exchange for the email. Now, they put their email in, and then it triggers an email autoresponder. They get an email sent to their phone, Here's your free PDF download of Gorilla Glue number four. And then they get it, but not only do they get that, now they're on your email list. So now every time you have a podcast, hey, a new episode is out. If you get 100 people, you know, there's people with millions of subscribers, right? Uh, I have an email list of about 10,000, and whenever I come out with a new podcast, I type up a little description in my email sequence, a software called Kajabi, and then uh, there's a bunch of them but I use Kajabi, right? And, um, and then I send out a blast to 10,000 people, and then now I look at my statistics on my podcast, and people are listening to my podcast, right? So you put out all this free content and information, and then you get them into your funnel. Once you get them into your funnel on your email list, then that's when you want to um, bring them deeper into the funnel by pitching them an offer. What is the offer? You have something for sale. It could be a, uh, a six-disc audio program, it used to be discs, but now it could be six downloads that are 30 minutes each of the whole encompassing training about the homeopathic um, 
uh, properties and cures and uses and things and experiences and case studies and testimonials all about medical marijuana, how to get stuff that doesn't have, some of it, doesn't a lot of it have fungus or something like oh, that? Oh yeah, or mites, little insects that are in there too. Yeah, that you're smoking or yeah. whatever, or Very good. digesting, not, not good. that makes you feel sick because it has fungus because it wasn't properly, like this type of education, um, I don't know too much about it, but is it could be very very valuable to people that gives them insight so now when they go to purchase it or whatever mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that they'll be they'll be informed they'll be in the know it puts them in power right so and then they're learning that stuff from you and then maybe you have like um, maybe 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 you create a product it's a book and you've documented like a hundred and fifty different strains or the hundred and one strains yes. of medical marijuana based by from A to Z of marijuana or based whatever. on usage Based on usage, and now you've doc. Oh my God, this is actually pretty. Good. This is cool. So, is this, can we trademark this so no one else can? Yeah, you can't use this. This is already this is trademarked cool. by the time you watch this video. <laughs> and then it can be a PDF download that they can buy, or they can get the paperback book, and then they can also get the audiobook. So you can turn this entire thing into an online product based off the 101 strains based nice. on usage. So you get the PDF download, then it turns into a paperback book with all beautiful, high quality photographs that you've all taken in a dispensary. Yes. Uh, and then you got them all stamped and trademarked, right? And then now you do all the, like, you, you build this thing out, and then now you can have a whole audio program around it, then a whole program where that thing is a bonus or centered around where you're actually teaching it and showing them step by step what it does, you're analyzing it and you're talking about, and you can have some downloaded meditations in there. Like you can create an entire program based off your passions that now you can sell them for $297 and people will be jumping all over to get this thing because maybe there's nothing like that before. Your own unique thing. But remember I said there's golden in them hills? This was a big long loop. I wanted to close and end this video. If you want people to buy this, so you can make wake up, you know, oh my God, I made $900 while I was sleeping and I have three new customers. Let me go make them a quick little video and turn on my web camera and my cell phone. Thank you so much, Nancy. I see that you got my program, the 101 strains of this and that. And, and I saw in the assessment, you said you struggle with anxiety or hip pain. And um, although, you know, I'm not, you could say, uh, uh, medically allowed to say this cures anything, but from you know, gets just stuff like that. You can say, uh, information I, suggests that this could be beneficial, you just got to be watered down, but you can you just got to watch what you say. Information suggests now that this could be beneficial in blank, absolutely. So then you say, Nancy, um, I just want to say thank you so much for buying the program. I uh, and, and namaste, and you send it off, and now you can even do an email automation that triggers that sends them a postcard and gourmet brownies with a handwritten signature thing that you know, like it's like a copy thing by you, so they feel like they're part of your tribe. And now later on, you can upsell them at your nine hundred and ninety-seven dollar program or your thousand dollar live summit that could be online, an online summit, or it can be a actual live workshop. Like every year, I have a live event in Michigan where people pay and they fly out to my live event, right? So you can have your own mastermind group or live workshop where people come and then now they get to experience this whole new thing. And then you can hire a videography team to videotape the thing and then you can sell that online as a part of a digital product. Does that make sense? So you're going meta. But anyways, I have to close the loop with this golden in them hills that I talked about was learned in the 25K group, okay. Your product is the obstacle. Nobody gives a crap about you or your product for the most part. Your product is an obstacle. They want what they want and they want a result. In the California gold rush in the 19, do you know what it was? No, 30s? 30s? 20s. 20s. There's gold in California. People are going from all across uh, America to get gold. More people. The people who made money were the people that were selling the, the pickaxes, the shovels, and the wheelbarrows. Those were the people that were making money. That's what your product is. It's a pickaxe, a shovel, and a wheelbarrow. It's nothing more than a tool than to get them what they want. So if you get obsessed with telling them the, the, the details of what's in, their, in your product, they don't care, they don't want to buy it, and it'll push them away. You have to get them to believe who they're going to become and that there's actually gold in the hills. Remember what I talked about when the theoretical and the trans... Uh, the conceptual and the tangible and the when people can transform in their mind and then transcend and believe 
oh my god, I can actually, this can really work for me. There really is gold in the hills. If you can get people to believe that there really is gold in the hills, and it's there right now, and they better get their, their ass up and go get that gold, they'll be like, oh my god, oh my god, I need a, I need a shovel and a pick and an axe and a wheelbarrow immediately. Like, you're like, I know, I, here's the tools. You, they're like, well, well, give me two in case one breaks. Right. They don't care anymore about the cost of the product. It becomes irrelevant. They don't care about the cost of your product. It becomes irrelevant because now they believe that they're gold in the hills and they're going to get the result they want. Where do I sign? Let, honey, get my credit card. Where, where's my credit card? <laughs> you're like, have you ever bought something online or something because now you believed You've crossed the chasm in your mind and you believe it's going to work for you and now you don't care how much it costs because you're making an investment in your future and yourself and you do everything to justify and back up that you made a good decision because now you feel it. When you can get people to that point, uh, that's when you'll start making money online. Does that make sense? Yes. So there's golden in them hills is what you're selling people is the result uh, the gold, who they're going to become, what they're going to get, the pain that they're going to be out of, the result they're going to get in their life, what they're going to be able to build, what they're going to be able to have, what they're going to be able to achieve, how they're going to feel, right? It depends. Different people are motivated by different things. So um, one of the easiest things to sell online for the highest price quickly is stuff that will directly make people money. But if you are selling things that make people feel good or you're even getting into spiritual stuff, um, that's... So I only said one of the easiest things to sell online is things that make people money from the physical carnal money perspective. That's true. That's only true from that density. If you get into spiritual and you really practice what you preach and you are spiritual, you can sell spiritual stuff like that because they'll be able to resonate and feel that you're on that density. You, you, you vibrate at that level and they want to vibrate at that level too. So you have to practice what you preach because none of this makes any sense and it won't sell if you don't believe it. When you believe it, everything else will fall into place. And that's what I want to talk about in the next video. And I, I'm going to talk to him some more um, aside. But, and I know I put a lot on you right there. Um, so go back and watch the video again. Uh, in the next video, we're going to talk about creating content and syndicating content. And how do you do that? And how do you do that on autopilot? So now you have content being released on the internet and, you know, um, hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands of people watching and consuming your content uh, while you're sleeping, which is really, really cool on autopilot, okay? All right, I'll see you in the next video.